truck or the car. Can you make a right decision for all of us? I went down to the Duke Hanamoku Beach in Waikiki to check out the Outrega six person sprint race put on by Quicksilver at the Waikiki Paddle Fest. The sprint was a quarter mile race parallel to the beach in front of Fort Tarusi. Only three OC6 crews turned up, a women's and men's crew from Kailua, and a team from Tahiti. So here was our story, a race between Tahiti and Hawaii. Because that's the first buoy up there. Perfect. That's awesome. Thank you. But before the event, I checked out the SUP Survivor race going on. It's a grueling event devised by Jamie Mitchell that whittles down the pack of competitors until only the fittest survive. One lap, we lose eight. Second lap, we lose eight more, so down to 24. Next lap, we lose eight more, we're down to 16. Then down to eight. That last final goes for the cash, the top five get cash. You guys ready? After the Le Mans start, the paddlers raced a half mile M course between the beach and the reef. When the first paddler got back to the finish line, the five minute clock began before the start of the next heat. The last eight paddlers were taken out and the crew was whittled down to the top eight. In the finals of the women's SUP race, here's Candace Appleby, Jenny Kayback, and Gillian Gabri. Gillian would end up winning this SUP race the first time in her SUP career. She's beaten both Jenny and Candace. She also won $1,500. One thing the Quicksilver Waikiki Paddle Fest had, and that was prize money, and lots of it. Gear certificates were also awarded to top finishers in each heat, and the winner of the men's SUP Survivor Race got $5,000. Travis Grant of Australia took that cash and top honors. Danny Ching took second, and Jamie Mitchell followed up in third. Both collected cash. Paddle Fest lasted two days and included a variety of events. Thousands of dollars were given away, along with gift certificates, a generous swag bag to the competitors. There were plenty of vendors there with boards and accessories, SUP demos, entertainment, refreshments, food, and more. There were plenty of cameras also, so for a more detailed look at the Quicksilver Paddle Fest in Waikiki, just go to the Quicksilver website. Google it, I'm sure it'll pop up. Or for photos and videos of this and other events, go to PacificPaddler.com. I'm Rapati Habenstreit for Pacific Paddler Magazine. Hey guys, just beat the tissue, what do you say about that, huh?